Hi guys, it's Alberta Cannabis uh, Unboxed here, and today I have the Ogen Gasberries number 112. Uh, Ogen is a small producer, one of the few coming out of Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Um, and yeah, let's take a look at the specifics on the package. So I have the small THC number sitting at 1.1%, the big one sitting at 18.2%. And um, yeah, checking out the back, um, that's the specific lot number if you happen to try the same one. And this was also packaged on July 20th, 2020. And the shooting time of this video is September 19th, 2020. So I would say about almost two months away. But yeah, it's also in a little different packaging, but uh, we'll pop this open and see what's going on inside. Nice. So uh, let's pop open this uh, Ogen's Gas Berries number 112. So yeah, this is a pretty unique packaging. Not something I've seen on any other producer before. Um, but let's see if I can even get it open. So it looks like there's a little... Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. So I got that bad boy open. That's kind of in the container there. But let's just get one nug out for a quick close-up. Wow. I would say that is one pretty nug. Nice trim job. I want to assume that it's probably human, not a tumbler, just judging by how neat it is. Yeah, nice. So I'll just dump the rest out for you guys to see and then uh, we'll get it on a scale. Hmm. Nice. So it pretty much came with these four nugs here. So two big ones and two tiny ones. And um, doesn't look like there was a uh, doesn't look like there was a styrofoam or any kind of extra seal on top. It kind of just popped open with the package. So um, yeah, very interesting. All right, so uh, even though the Ogen didn't have a seal, it looks like it has this little almost silicone um, ring around the lid. So that must've kept it um, kind of, that's what they rely on to keep it fresh, but no like outer plastic or styrofoam seal there at all which is uh, pretty unique, but yeah, we'll see how it kept the bud. All right, guys, so uh, let's see. Uh, we're going to get the ever-important weigh-in. In. I'm not going to use a cap or anything because I think I can just fit it all onto the scale. So we'll see um, how these guys do in a weigh-in. So just going to put the four nugs in, the four main nugs, because there's not really anything else, which is good because it's not many popcorn nugs. Uh, make sure it's all on there, and um, let's see what that number looks like. Um, looks like we're coming at 3.56 uh, as the scale settles. Um, yeah, so definitely on weight, if anything, over a little bit. And uh, looking on the inside, um, yeah, not much left over, just kind of little hairs mostly, not even shake. Nice. That's pretty good. Okay, so uh, let's just get a smell and texture going on. So um, in terms of smell for these guys... I would say the gas is definitely a lot more prominent than the kind of berries that the gas berries name implies. Definitely a little gassier, not too sweet, but um, definitely um, an aroma coming off of it. Definitely it's not too subtle, but not too strong either. Um, so yeah, let's just uh, get one of these between the fingers um, and see, this is just the one I was smelling, um, how it busts up. So picking it apart, yeah, it's pretty decent um, squishiness to it. Definitely not dry. Definitely not dry. Um, yeah, so not the densest cure e either, but yeah, pretty nice velvety cure. And in terms of stickiness, yeah, a little bit sticky. A little bit sticky. I'm rubbing off on my fingers. But... I don't know. Some people might say this is kind of the just the right kind of humidity level. Not too dry, but not too moist either. Um, I'm going to break apart this little bigger guy just so we see kind of what it looks like. But yeah, not crusty. You can tell. So 
squeeze it up just like that. Kind of, you can kind of condense it if you really wanted to. So that might give you a better idea of the cure there. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna grind this up and we'll see kind of what it looks like after the grind. Okay, now we're gonna commence the ash test. Uh, so that means I'm gonna put the bud into a perfectly clean bowl here. And uh, also this bowl has a built-in screen. Um, so I'm gonna smoke it out of my bong with a uh, hemp wick and I'm gonna burn it until it can't burn anymore. And uh, yeah, we'll take a look at the ash to see how white and how clean it actually burns, which is important for a lot of people. All right guys, so uh, let's burn it and see how it looks. guys uh, so thank you for watching um, alberta cannabis unbox please comment if there's anything you'd like to see in the next video other than that please like and subscribe and uh, i'll see you uh, next time